to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. That is a big tree. Yeah. And then I just went through this whole area. Ooh. Yeah, this was all basically like that right there. But knocked it all down. I mean, it's been what three years since y'all cleared it. Has it? So because be I was pretty... still I was still pregnant when we came out here doing videos. So it just should be pretty easy to maintain it then, if it's been three years. I was worried about that. I was like, God, do I do this every year? For seven acres? They go buzz buzz. What you doing? You wanna smell the flower? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> so a couple videos ago, we talked about one of these trees out here breaking. And we heard, it sounded like a deep explosion or something inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently I didn't realize it was this tree right here snapped that part. And that, if you can see the, basically the trunk of it goes out that way. Huge. Wow. I didn't realize it was that big. We'll leave that part. Doesn't seem like it was like very weak, but it just snapped. So yeah, I like the dome of these trees right here, like this big kind of open area. I'm gonna take out that branch right there, uh, cause that one's dead for sure. And then I wanna take probably these two little trees out. And then we can do some- Oh, that could be a little Christmas tree. I was gonna do like a little platform. Oh, I can do that, I guess. If I take that out, it'd be right there. So the my only reservation of putting something right there would be because the, the truck might not be able to get through. So I want to be able to get through here with the truck, and over there. And of course over there, there, there. I mean, what do you think, gazebo or you can do like a little platform with a pergola? pergola? Are they the same thing? Gazebo actually has a roof, like you can sit in it. A but a platform with a pergola is the same thing, isn't it? Huh? A pergola is not, it's not the cover? No, I mean it covers, but it's like, a, it's just like slats. Oh, wood. okay, yeah. You know? You gazebo. Can, you can have vines grow up at yeah, gazebo. I like the cover. You like the covering? I can do something real simple too, but gazebo would look nice. No? Me start. Me start. Me start. So this is the start of the video. This, this is the beginning. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm here with her. Me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always do it so low because I'm I know. short. I'm, I'm taller. <laughs> Matt does. Matt's still here. I feel like you're never in videos anymore. I'm like in the background or something. I'm all better. I've been better for a couple days, like as far as symptoms go. So thank you guys for all of your well wishes. Um, I uploaded a video this week talking about how I felt I like doo doo, <laughs> so, but I don't feel like doo doo. I just got a little bit of um, kind of um, allergy stuff, but it's pretty much gone. I can breathe out of my nose pretty pretty comfortably. <laughs> take over. I'm doing just take fine. Over. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing really good. So. <laughs> um, we do want to add in, um, I've been talking about, I don't know what this is, a little bit of a partnership that I've been really excited about. And finally, we got some goodies in the mail this week, and I'm so pumped to share this with y'all. I'm excited about this one. Yes. So this video is actually sponsored by 
Butcher Box, which is pretty cool. They're not little guys, that's a big name. I've been a fan of this brand for a while. So they sent us our first box. You can see us unboxing it here. And we are so excited to show y'all how we use these meats. Use um, the meats. We use the meats. Wanna show all of them or do we, I guess in the unboxing it's in there. Yeah, they're. I don't know. So the next thing that I was going to do with this box, so I don't even, I, we got all of them in. It's kind of like, I don't know what to start with. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing I want to do is what I've been cooking actually the last couple of weeks, really. And I've been making these steaks. So this is grass fed uh, beef sirloin, basically. It's uh, that kind with that fatty strip on the back of it. Me. And so we have, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that fatty strip. On the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> Called love handles on, on humans. Um, so yeah, we're making these two probably tomorrow. They're Please. frozen solid right now. So I'm going to put it in the fridge. Hopefully we can make, make them tomorrow. If not, it'll be... Uh, it'll be late tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe late tomorrow. So we'll but, see. 24 hours in the fridge should thaw out pretty well. Yeah. Whenever um, ButcherBox reached out to us about this partnership, it couldn't be more perfect because one, we're in the house finally, and two, he's been wanting to cook more, and yeah. of course he wants to cook meat. And so this is his realm. We've actually, we actually went out this week and looked at grills, and so now he's gonna buy a grill. That's that's gonna happen. <laughs> and oh. now we have high quality, delicious meat to cook on that grill. So I'm really yeah. excited to share with y'all. But what we are able to offer is we have an affiliate link. It will be in the description box for all of our videos. I'll post it in the comments below. But whenever you use our link from today through November 16th, you actually get a free it's heavy. 10 to 14 pound turkey. You use our link so you can check that out. Pretty exciting. It will be here for Thanksgiving. It's a young turkey. What, what are we natural? What are we gonna do with this? I wanna eat that. Like what? Might have yeah. to take it to ow, I just smashed my finger. Might have to take it to um, my parents' house because my dad is a grill master. So they're going to be excited about this too. I know. I am pumped. This one I may give to him to, to grill to, or smoke really. I am, so, yeah, because I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to mess it up. But as you can see, all of the meat does come frozen. Because that is one of the things that I've always kind of been concerned about whenever ordering any kind of food. Especially, yeah. what's the word? Not disposable. Um, perishable. perishable perishable goods i'm always worried about them coming and if there's delays in shipment you don't know but these came frozen rock hard and then we stuck them immediately in the freezer till we're ready to use them um so yeah the the shipping was awesome i'm excited that's, yeah that's yeah. it i've been like waiting to tell y'all about this and i wanted to wait till we got our box and it's here and we're gonna be cooking up all the meats yeah i'm gonna do a reverse here on this guy these these guys right here Sorry. <laughs> we also been working out. Like, what is this video? Yeah, I don't I'm know what get, this video I'm is. I'm gonna get an email from ButcherBox yeah, immediately like, like Please mm. stop. <laughs> send, send the meat back, please. <laughs> We're terminating yeah. the partnership. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know what you were getting yourself into, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, so, if you guys yeah. want to support us, you can sign up using our link. You'll get a free turkey in your first box. Yep. And again, it does directly support us, so we appreciate all of the support and encouragement, and if y'all have any questions, let us know. Yeah, and I can't wait to start cooking a lot more. Because, yeah, we just got in the house. I was actually going to build, like, a pad for the grill or something like that. But why wait? I'll just stick some wood under or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I feel like wood is a no-no whenever it comes to a grill. It's different. Oh, it's not going to... The wheels don't get hot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's on a... Like it's catch fire. It's too... Whatever. Just, yeah. Like the, uh, like the propane in the RV. Might as well just pull the grill inside the house, right? <laughs> I mean, if it's bad weather. Oh my gosh. You can't do that? No, you cannot do that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Good lord. I'm kidding. I wouldn't take it in the house. I'd bring it onto the patio. <laughs> <laughs> so. Why have we not had a grill this whole do time? Do not cook your know. meat like that. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Listen to him. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not great at this kind of stuff, but I'm great at eating it, so. You're good at like uh, crock pot type meals, which we do have a roast, and we will probably yes. actually do that in a crock pot. Yes. Mainly because we don't have a big oven. old chunk. We still don't have an oven, so we we could smoke it and then yeah. put it into something. You know, give that little smoky flavor before it goes into a. a like for the thumbnail. A mission. I don't know. Yeah, check out my meat. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of what's been going on. Um, 
It's gonna be a lot more, a lot more cooking happening. I wish, I wish, you know, it'd be cool if we could have like a little party and have people over, like a little YouTube family, but I don't want to do that. We're so, so, we're so lonely. <laughs> if we had friends. Come see us. <laughs> Watch me cook meats. Our neighbors are actually having a party tonight. Maybe I'll take some meat over there. It's frozen. <laughs> I'm just, no, yeah. I'm not sharing with him yet. Yeah, I'm doing all that. I'm not sharing yet. No, just in general. This is this is mine. I want this. That's yours. That's, um, that's your just turkey. Just the turkey. Turkey is all me. These are more. I mean, I like steaks. And what is this? Oh, um, so those are both mine. No, 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 no. I like these too, but it's, you know, turkey. Like that's my jam. Because these are a little bit higher fat, so I'll have to. And Ooh. I guess I could talk to you guys about how I work this kind of stuff into my nutritional um, intake for the day because it is higher fat, so I can't necessarily have as much versus something like lean turkey. And I can show you how but I cook it. Anyway. So cooking and eating, I guess. So, Wednesday, we're gonna have our first cooking video with butcher box meats in it. The pressure's on. I'm, I'm gonna do something real No, but we have to though. do stuff, you can't just do the meat and put it on a plate. We need like sides. Oh yeah, I got that. Don't worry, I got that. Oh, I could do like a homemade mac and cheese. You mean I could do the homemade mac and cheese? No, I'm good at that stuff. Let me show you how to do it. We're gonna go. We apparently we won a free pumpkin um, from the Pet Fest, which I'll show you all the footage of that following um, this clip. But we went to downtown St. Marcus, and they had what's called Pet Fest, and it's just a little, I don't know, like a little day where they set up activities. Um, it's generate like geared towards um, pets of St. Marcus, and I think a lot of the proceeds go towards. Um, Pals, which is the Pre Prevent a Litter Society. Basically spay and neuter your pets and then um, local shelters. And so we stopped by, Eva got to meet a turtle, a tortoise. tortoise. I'm sorry. She got to meet Diego, the tortoise, who apparently has his own Instagram account. She got to see some puppies. So she had a blast. We'll she include some of the footage. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's been a really good day. Yeah. The weather is cooling down. We got nice. a bunch of meats in the freezer. Our pets' heads are falling off. No, no they're not. <laughs> they are not. So that's what's going on with us. Let us know what you're up to this weekend, or I guess what you were, what you did this weekend, since today's Monday, yeah. when you watch this video. And I hope you're looking forward to more cooking. Oh my God, that's a heavy turkey. You know, one thing I will add is it's nice that we didn't have to go hunting for all that stuff. Literally, and in the grocery store, you know, because yeah, normally, true. like having to go to the grocery store and like pick out all that meat, it's just I don't know. With we do have turkeys out here. Yeah, that's it. That's Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. And uh, have fun out there, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have a YouTube channel just yet, but he's all yes. over Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. He's been here. Careful. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs>
And again, thank you to ButcherBox for reaching out for this partnership. We're so excited to share this with you and to, sorry for my voice, but you can see right here on their website, you've got options in terms of your subscription boxes. You can do a custom box. You can do a mixed box that will come with beef, poultry, pork. You can do a beef and chicken box, which is what we did. And um, I personally, this is more so my jam because I, I eat more poultry, I eat more beef. You can also do a beef and pork box on the right side of each of these options. It'll show you just an example of what could come in your box, but it's going to vary. And then the last one is the all beef box. Matt actually wanted to do this one first, but I wanted to sample a little bit of everything. The beef is grass fed, grass finished. The chicken is free range organic and the pork is raised crate free. So animal welfare, environmental welfare is of the utmost importance to ButcherBox. And that is one of the main reasons why we wanted to partner with them and why we're so excited to share this with y'all. And so I just wanted to say thank you again for the love and the support and hope you guys have a wonderful day. We will see you in Wednesday's video. Again, have fun out there and see you later. Bye.